everybody, it's Karen here. Thank you guys once again for joining me. I am making this little happy birthday card. It's using the new Birthday Bear stamp set from Gerda Steiner Designs. And I've got this brand new to me, Sunny Studios uh, cover die. It's called uh, Furly Frames Retro Petals. And I've cut a piece of die cut and bond. It's basically just a double-sided adhesive. I think you could probably use Stick It in, instead if you had that. Um, but I have the, a roll of this. It lasts forever. It's such a big roll. And I'm now replacing some of those uh, die cuts back in. So I've left a sort of pattern here. And I wanted to fill these in with glitter. It's a micro glitter that I bought at the dollar store. And I bought this these little containers that it I've put them in. Um, I don't know if this would work with a larger glitter, but it does with a micro glitter. So what if, if you have any micro glitter, I'm sure this would work. I just take a very small amount and I'm putting it into this first petal. Uh, it, it's a very messy job, this one, guys. <laughs> this technique, I don't know, it's glitter everywhere. So I'm pressing that down with my finger, um, trying to get it in so it's all adhere to that backing, that die cut and bond behind it. And then I have a Swiffer wipe that I am going to um, wipe away some of the excess. I actually have a brush out as well somewhere and the garbage can is right beside me. And I've got that paper behind because there, there's glitter everywhere with this technique. So be, be aware. Um, and I'm just using my bone folder to press in that first petal and I don't know if you can really see it here I freezed it but it when it is pressed down to the the backing adhesive it kind of goes a, a slightly different shade it's a bit shinier uh, quite honestly so I kind of know that that's when it's really sealed and, and adhered to the backing and I just repeated that I use different colors all around um, over this cover die and you can see all my colors out there, but it's just the same thing. It's press that stuff in as best you can. And that's the background now. So it's really quite pretty. I you wouldn't you don't have to do glitter. I'm sure you could use Copic markers, some alcohol ink in behind those, uh, watercolor work. I'm sure any of those would look beautiful. I just chose to use the glitter. So I'm peeling back the backing paper now on the die cut and bond and I, I tend to line up the right hand side there so it's lined up and then I press the, the peeled back side on the left down and just keep going from there just to make it easier to adhere that. Um, you need to press everything down with the bone folder once you've got it in position. Uh, and that's the background. So I honestly think any cover die would work with this. It's just to give a bit of shine and, you know, interest to the background. And now this is another new die set that I've just got at the same time. It's the Heartstrings Border Dies from Sunny Studios again. And I just chose that one. I thought that was really quite pretty and that it would go well with uh, the petals. So I stamped the sentiment and clear heat embossed it. And uh, I've colored up all my images, as you can see here. And I used some glossy accents on the banners, the, the bear's hat, and the balloon. And before I decided which of those petals to put glitter on, I had sort of positioned my images around in this pattern that I'm going to do now. And I kind of chose petals that would stand out behind the images, just to give a bit of interest. So I'm adhering it all down now. The The bird, I actually tried to make him 3D, so I've got foam tape behind his wings, and as you can see, I'm gluing down the center of him and just holding it so that his wings sort of pop up off the, off the back of the card there. And that's the front of the card done. So you can see there it is a little 3D for the bird. It looks like he's sort of flying in to say hello and happy birthday. And then on the inside, I stamped that sentiment, which is from the stamp set, and I love this bear arm. I just think that is such a fun, unexpected surprise on the inside of the card. 
So as you can see, I don't trim the, the right hand side of it. It's just easier I find to line that up with the edge and then trim it off so that he's glued in the right position and everything lines up. And that's just such a fun little extra on the inside, I think, for, for this card. So there's the card. It's all nice and shiny with the glitter on the, on the outside and then that little bare arm on the inside. So I hope you guys will give this one a try. It's lots of fun. Thanks for joining me.